Hey, what's up guys, Exalted here, and in today's video, I thought it would be a cool idea to kind of go over my keyboard uh, keybinds, my mouse sensitivity, and just my overall PC settings. About three weeks ago, I switched from console to PC, and I do not regret it at all. Um, on console, I feel like I feel like I was kind of at a peak mechanically. I feel like I couldn't click buttons any faster, and I couldn't really get better at the game mechanically. Um, so that's why I decided to make the switch to PC, because I feel like you can get better. I kind of feel like I had a higher potential, and I feel like I was right about that. I feel like after only three weeks, I am almost better than I was on console. But with that being said, hopefully these kind of settings will help you if you're a new player, or help you even if you're a good player, and especially if you are switching to uh, PC. Uh, hopefully these settings will help you guys out. So with that being said, let's get straight into it. So here are just kind of, this is just what I run. I usually run pretty low shadows, but I like them on a little bit because you can kind of show, you can kind of see contrast between, uh, contrast between certain things. And I feel like it makes seeing players a little bit easier, but I definitely do not have those turned on high because it, it's very strenuous on your, uh, <laughs> your PC. Um, settings wise. <clears throat> Here are my settings. If you guys would like to screenshot anything, you can do so or pause the video wherever you would like. Um, one thing I really suggest everybody do is turn on sprint by default. A lot of players don't have this on and they use the button like shift to sprint. And I feel like that just kind of wastes the space when you could use shift to something more important like crouching or editing or something like that. Um, so I definitely suggest putting sprint by default on. And then for my mouse sensitivity, my X and Y, I use a Logitech G502 mouse, so I have a couple buttons on there, but I also ha use a 1800 DPI on it. Um, I definitely run a little bit higher DPI than most players. Uh, some players do run a little bit higher, but a lot of players run lower. The reason why I like the higher DPI is because um, is because I kind of I come from console, like I said, and to build quickly on console, you have to use a really, really high sensitivity. So I'm really used to a high sensitivity. Um, I used to when I first started the first like two days, I used a 4K DPI. Do not do that. Like, do not go above 2400 DPI. It is just don't do it. Um, 1800 DPI is working so well. I'm really enjoying it. You can quickly build and I am hitting my shots and nice flick shots. So it's a good sensitivity for me, but like I, but um, of course it could change between anybody just for whatever feels right to you. Um, I use a 0.65 bright lit brightness just because I feel the game is a little bit dark. So I turn it up a little bit um, in my audio settings. And then I use Triton Note 5 as my uh, color blindness mode. And now straight into my key bindings. So I tried to split up my key bindings, kind of get a lot of key bindings on my mouse and a lot on my keyboard. I tried to separate those actually pretty evenly so that one hand wasn't like getting flooded with like buttons that I had to press because I feel like removing that issue will remove like how badly you choke and like accidentally click other buttons and things like that. So I have it pretty evenly spread out between my mouse and my keyboard. Um, I've got regular WASD. Um, my auto run is not number, it is actually click in my mouse wheel. I feel like it's really nice. Um, crouch, I use left shift. Um, and I use edit as left control. Now, my goal with creating these keybinds is I wanted to keep my hands on WASD as much as possible so you can have movement. Um, I feel like it's really, really important to have really good movement while playing Fortnite. And if you have to constantly take your fingers off of the WASD keys to click your walls or whatever keybind you need to click, I feel like it's really detrimental. So with shift and uh, control as my edit and crouch, I can keep my hands on WASD and still move at the same time. It makes editing super smooth. It makes like it makes your ability to create really nice plays a lot more prominent. Pr pr prominent, predominant. I don't know if I'm getting that right. I think you know what you mean though. I think you know what I mean though. Um, so yeah, that was kind of my goal with making these. Um, reload, you don't use that super often. So I've got a little further away than WASD. Use, you use all the time. So I have that close to WASD. Um, my harvesting tool, I have that a button on my mouse. Um, so that way I have only five weapon slots I have to click with my left hand. Um, I usually go pump, SMG, AR, and then these two are just like healing and sniper sort of thing. I find that really easy and I really enjoy that. You can keep your hands on W all the time and you rarely, and you only have to take your hands off the movement like ASD for a quick second just to switch guns. Um, 
Crouch shift again. Now my wall, my stairs, and my roof are all are all on my mouse, but I have my floor on my keyboard, which is Q super super close again, right next to the W A S D key, so you barely have to uh, take your hands off of it. Especially while building, you always want to make sure you can click the W key. Um, uh, anything else? Trap. Yes, trap. I have is F. Traps are very very crucial in this meta I guess I would say um, so having a really easy button to click for traps is very crucial um, I can quickly click it uh, place down a trap and get straight back to full range of movement with my WASD keys um, repair building you don't use very often so I have that a little further away changing materials I use my right um, my right click button I feel like it's really easy left click to place right click to change um, like I said edit is control and the rest of it not they're not super you don't have to be super efficient about these it's, this is just kind of personal preference so yeah that's going to be it for um my keybinds and because like i said i did switch from xbox to pc about three weeks ago what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be showing you guys a couple clips of my gameplay on pc the earlier clips are going to be when i kind of first started and the later clips are going to be more recently to now that i'm better at the game i feel like i am better than i am on consoles so you'll be able to see a lot of improvement amongst these clips. Uh, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the clips. I hope this video helps you out, whether you're moving from console to PC or whether you're just starting PC or whatever it might be. Um, if you enjoyed the video, hit the sub button. I really appreciate it. I make advanced tutorial videos. And with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. No, I'm good, Dread. I don't need it. Damn, bro. But you want a heavy shotgun? <laughs>